In this lesson, we're going to investigate the definition and what it means uh, about standard position angles and reference angles and having to do with trigonometry. Uh, previously in trigonometry, we've always looked at right angle trigonometry, so always angles that are less than 90 degrees inside an acute triangle. In this particular unit, we're going to be looking at trigonometry having to deal with not just angles between 0 and 90, but uh, angles between 0 and 360. So in order to do that, we need to um, start to introduce what standard position angles are and reference angles. So uh, standard position Position angles. Uh, here's the definition, uh, and I'm going to tend to do two standard position angles in green. Uh, standard position angle, uh, the initial arm, which is a, just a definition, the initial arm is always the positive x-axis. So if we're looking, uh, for example, here, the initial arm is right here, the positive x-axis, and that's considered zero degrees. Uh, the terminal arm, which is the other arm of an angle, sorry, terminal arm, is the final position after a counterclockwise, and it's always a counterclockwise rotation <clears throat> about the origin. So if you look at particular angles, for example, uh, so here's the initial arm, here's the terminal arm. So for example, an angle may look something like this. This would be considered an angle in standard position. Uh, we'll look at more specifics into that as we go. But as you can see, zero degrees is uh, the positive x-axis, 90 degrees, is the positive y-axis. Here's 180 degrees, 270, and a full rotation would be 360. Uh, and just reviewing the quadrants, because that's going to come up later, quadrant 1 is the top right quadrant, the positive x and y quadrant. And then we move counterclockwise. This is quadrant 2, 3, and quadrant 4. So let's look at a few examples. Uh, it says sketch each angle in standard position. In which quadrant does a terminal arm lie? And the angle that we're going to sketch here is 120 degrees. So 120 degrees would be... Uh, starting at the positive x-axis, approximately, and we're just going to do approximate, approximately 120 degrees in a counterclockwise rotation. Uh, the terminal arm, which is this arm right here that I just highlighted in yellow, uh, lies in quadrant 2, as we just looked at the quadrants a second ago. Uh, 260 degrees, again, going 260 degrees counterclockwise from 0 degrees, the positive x-axis, would look something like this. And the terminal arm, this arm here, lies in this particular case in quadrant 3. That's standard position angles. Uh, in moving forward in this particular unit, we're going to have to discuss or investigate sorry, what uh, reference angles are. Reference angles are found using the standard position angle. I'm going to use the color red for reference angles, and you'll see its usefulness in future lessons. Uh, reference angles, which I'm going to call th uh, theta with a lowercase or a subscript r. Given an angle in standard position, the reference angle is always the acute, and acute angles are less than 90, acute angle between its terminal arm and the nearest x-axis. And here's the important thing. It can be the positive or the negative x-axis. So um, we'll look at some examples in a second. So the reference angle is always, always, always between 0 degrees and 90 degrees because it's an acute angle. Uh, so you'll see, yeah, between 0 is another way to write it, between 0 and 90 degrees. So in this particular example, uh, you can see the terminal arm is right here. And the definition of a reference angle, again, is the acute angle between the terminal arm and the nearest x-axis. So the reference angle here is actually here's the nearest x-axis, is actually this angle. Uh, you could do this visually or you could do it otherwise, but if we're given 160 degrees, the remaining angle here is 20 degrees. So the reference angle would be equivalent to 20 degrees. If you look at this next example, 280 degrees, the terminal arm is here. The nearest x-axis, don't put it to the nearest y-axis, the nearest x-axis is the positive x-axis, so this would be a reference angle here. And if you uh, do 360 minus 280 or find the remaining degrees visually, you'll see that that's 80 degrees. So the reference angle here is 80 degrees. Uh, next example, 235 degrees. Here's the terminal arm right here, and the nearest x-axis is the negative x-axis. Uh, so this here, that reference angle, you could do 235 minus 180 or just uh, do it visually if you'd like to, but that's going to be 55 degrees. So a reference angle for 235 degrees is 55 degrees. And finally, if we're given a quadrant one standard position angle, uh, not surprisingly, the nearest x-axis is a positive x-axis. The reference angle is actually equivalent to the standard position angle, so it would also be 65 degrees. Uh, so just in conclusion, what I'm going to do is give you... Uh, <clears throat> If you aren't a visual learner and you didn't understand that, here's a method to always calculating reference angles from standard position angles. If you're in quadrant number one, the reference angle is always 
equivalent to the standard position angle. So for example, if you're given a standard position angle of 65 degrees, the reference angle would also be 65 degrees. Uh, in quadrant two, uh, the reference angle would always be 180 minus the standard position angle. So for example, if you're given a standard position angle of say 160, the reference angle would be 180 minus 160. The reference angle for that uh, would be 20 degrees. Uh, next, to find the reference angle in the third quadrant, if you're given a standard position angle in the third quadrant, what you would do is take that standard position angle and subtract 180. So for example, or the one that we just did above, if we're given a standard position angle of 235 degrees, which is in the third quadrant, uh, our reference angle would be 235 minus 180, which in this case is 55 degrees. Uh, and finally, in the fourth quadrant, if we're given a standard position angle, what we would do is do 360 degrees minus the standard position angle. So for example, if you're given an angle of, I think the example is 280 degrees, uh, your reference angle would be equivalent to 360 minus 280. So our reference angle in this case would be 80 degrees.